Hi there, in this um, video we're going to talk about the triangle for making flat pattern hats. Now the triangle you see a lot, uh, so for example that's normally what a baseball cap is made of, six triangles. I make a lot of cloche hats from triangles because they're quite head hugging. You might want to make a sun hat or you might want to make something like a deer stalker and they're all made with triangles for the crown. So we're going to talk about triangles. As I say, normally you would put six together. You can put eight, you can put four, but if you put four, you don't get such a head hugging shape. So anyway, how to work out your triangle. Let's go up here and I'll show you. And again, I'm doing this on the computer and I have gridded up my screen so that I've got one inch squares. So first of all, you decide what size your hat is going to be. And we've decided that it's going to be 22 inches. So I divide that by 6 equals 3.66. So just over 3.5 inches for the base of the hat. So that's what we're going to work on. Oh, I've just lost my uh, grid. Where is it? No, wrong one. Hang on. Here we are. So it's going to be four and a half inches. Uh, three, oh, I've forgotten what I said now. 3.66 inches, <laughs> sorry. Oh dear, such fun here. Uh, 3.66 inches. So I'm going to draw my line, which is the base of my triangle. And it's just over three and a half inches, which is about there. I can work it out at the top. I've got a grid here but if you're doing it on paper that's fine you can measure it out so uh, that's our baseline and I'll make it a bit bigger so you can see it there we are and we want to find the middle point of that line so that we can come up to the center so actually what I'm going to do is move mine across a bit just so I've got it equidistant and I can use that line there. So how high you make your triangle will depend entirely on you and the shape you're going to make it. But we'll assume we're just making a baseball cap or something like that. Um, we want our line to be about one, two, three, four, about five inches high. Okay. So we've got our middle point there. Now you can measure easily on your head by measuring across from the top of your eyebrow back to the occipital bump on the back of your head and then divide that in half and that will give you your triangle uh, size. And now what we need is line going down to the corner. So there we have it. That is going to be our triangle. Now, you can't just have dead straight lines. That would be um, not very good. You would end up with a very funny shape, <laughs> funny shape hat. So we're going to have to curve these slightly. Now, how much you curve them is dependent, again, on what type of hat you're making. But I'm just going to curve it out slightly, about two thirds of the way up, like that. Now, if you're doing this on pen and, with pen and paper, you'll have to do it with either a dressmaker's rule or an artist's curve, something like that. So I've curved it out and I'm going to curve the bottom very slightly as well. Just to give it a bit more shape. You'll see it's only minimal. There we are. So that's my triangle. Now, if you're doing this on pen and paper, I suggest you fold your paper over and draw the other side so that it matches. But because I'm doing it on the computer, I'm going to do it um, slightly, slightly differently. So there we are. So there we have our triangle ready for us to add our seam line. And again, I'm just going to make up so probably about a half inch, half inch seam line. So I'm going to, um, oops, sorry folks, I'm going to group all those together and I'm going to copy, or duplicate, 
and I'm going to make it bigger either side, about half inch, half inch at the top, and a half inch at the bottom. Obviously, if you're doing it with pen and paper, you'll have to just draw another, what measure it out and draw it out. So that's our triangle. And our triangle can be used now for any hats and you can make it as many different sizes as you like. Uh, the nice thing about the triangle is it does have um, extra things you can do with it. So for example, you could turn it into a hat with, with already a brim on it. So you might want to elongate it a little bit and, and make it all in one with a brim. So I might add on a bit more here and uh, just curve the bottom again and then I've got one that's already got a brim and the top attached so I would cut that all as one not as two separate pieces but again don't forget to add your seam line all the way around the edge so triangles are fairly easy and again you can do anything with them now when you exaggerate the height or the width do not alter the, your baseline obviously otherwise you're changing the size of the hat and it won't won't fit if you are only doing four pieces you will have to really exaggerate the curve at the top otherwise when you put it on it won't it won't fit at all and it won't look good so that's triangles. You can make lots of hats with triangles and um, I hope this has been helpful. Our next tutorial will be talking about brims and that is more complicated. Hope to speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.